Hi everybody, welcome to a new video on frames. In this video I would like to introduce you to a new um, bank, a bank called Supermeha Music uh, Cinematic for frames. It's really a fantastic bank recently uh, released um, for frames and in this video I'm going to go through some of the presets and um, some of the patches and I'm also going to where possible to deconstruct some of them and to analyze how they've been actually created so to give you just a sense of how powerful frames is if you haven't used it before if you have used it before of course uh, this should be familiar but so take the video as an introduction to the new bank and of course if you find it difficult to follow it then uh, go through my previous tutorials as well that you can find on my sound for more channel um, before i commence i would like to also say that um, i'm going to give away a number of um, codes so that you can use to uh, download uh, frames and also these um, fantastic uh, bank um, and if you want to do so, just send um, me an email to soundformo at gmail.com. All right, perfect. So let's uh, kick off. So let's start with this Angel SA, SJA. So. <laughs> First of all, what you can see here is um, movement and it is moving only on the right hand side which, which means that there is some kind of modi uh, modifiers um, on the side. So if we go to the metrics you can see that uh, here, uh, here we go, that uh, there is the size that changes based on the envelope generator number two. And as well you can see there is a cutoff which is uh, modulated by LFO3 and the envelope generator too and that is of course for layer number one and there are additional layers and let's uh, have a look so this is off this is actually on it's still a granular effect interesting what you see here is a bit of random as well on the offset for this layer and then uh, layer number four is deactivated and let's have a look at the metrics as well there's nothing on layer number three so okay so let's move to a different patch so for example let's go to uh, this one and uh, let's have a look at the waveform straight away <laughs> So again, there's movement here on the first layer, so you can see on the metrics LFO is actually driving the offset here, okay. Then let's go to layer number two, which is also on, but it is a type of oscillator, which is interesting. And you have also layer number three, which is granular. Let's say uh, there is an offset change here and also the size, so change or modulated. So. <laughs> Oh, it moved very rapidly here. You can see the size that it changed in here, but you saw also the offset that has changed. So let's have a look again at the metrics. So you see the offset was changed by LFO3 here, but also the size by LFO1. And if you go to the modifier, let's have a look at um, LFO, what did we say? LFO1 on the size and LFO3. Uh, so LFO1 moves very slowly and then LFO3. Oh, that's interesting. Look, it's actually a square wave and that would explain the sudden movement as well. So let's continue exploring others. Energy waves. So first thing to notice is there was a bit of offset there uh, changing which uh, if you notice here you have random there there's also a bit of randomness on the size 
as well so let's have a look at uh, the metrics as well you can see the density is also changing by LFO1 the resonance cutoff and then the cutoff is also influenced by LFO4 so let's continue and have a look at other layers this is off off and the, only the last one is on Let's solo this one. Okay, you can barely hear it, but um, you can see the offset being uh, changed by level four one, the same as the level, and then we have a level four three also influencing the pitch. Okay, let's go to a different one again, exploring through. <laughs> Oh, this is extremely nice. Look at how the uh, grains move randomly. So you have random here on the offset. So it's very clear. Okay. But you also have something like pulsating doom, 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 which I don't believe is these, these uh, layer. Let's see. No. Uh, it's probably these one. Let's solo it. Yeah. And also listen to the amount of reverb which is added to each of the different layers. Particularly layer two, you can clearly hear that the reverb and also the lay. And let's have a quick look at the metrics on uh, on the different channel, but there's nothing being modulated there. Let's go to the next one, Freedom. fantastic patch so that's the patch you can see there is an effect on density you can hear it uh, very well and um, that is LFO1 so we look at LFO1 here is moving uh, the rate is really slow okay that's great it's great um, Great one. Let's uh, listen to another one, Granular Escape. There seems to be movement uh, here, and uh, so offset should be modulated. Most of the something on the density, uh, it just sounds like that. So let's go to the metric, so you can see the density is modulated by LFO1, right? And then you have LFO3 changing the cutoff but the offset as well interestingly there is also envelope generator 2 which is actually changing the density so let's go to envelope and uh, and see what it sounds as uh, we move through envelope generator number two <laughs> Uh, second layer is active as well, granular as well, with some movement as well, and also on density, yes, confirmed, the layer number three is off, and number four is on, and is a granular as well, there is some density, um, size changes and offset, and also LFO2 is modulating interested in the FM so have, let's have a look at the waveform interesting in there is no randomness on the offset but it almost looks like it's moving randomly so let's have a look at the metrics so the offset is um, uh, modulated by LFO4 if you go to modify and you go to LFO4 yeah you can see the random uh, here wave run the uh, waveform as random that it has been selected that's why so let's choose again another one grounder wow interesting mm, lot of reverb delay and um, Notice the grains are ending there, and in, in, indeed you see um, the setting to end. Okay, 
let's look at the metrics uh, so the level is adjusted by the envelope generator number one on the first layer then on the second layer there is density changes because of envelope number two and on the third one there's a pitch being modulated by level one and um, again pitch and cutoff being modulated as well on the layer number four uh, i'm interested to say on the global uh, if um, fm was uh, was on but no it's actually not on so let's go to another um patch <laughs> Very nice, a bit of random on the offset, changing on the size. So if we go to the metrics, yeah, envelope generator number two is changing the size. Uh, let's, have a look. let's overlay the uh, envelope generator number two and the waveform, and let's see how that impacts the size. Keep an eye on the size in the envelope generator two. Up quickly. Slowing down slowly, so less movement and then dropping um okay let's choose another one again heaven's dream bit of randomness on the offset um let's go to the metrics nothing on uh, uh, layer number one. Uh, let's have a look at the other layers. The second layer is off. Third layer is actually on. Granular as engine again. There's some randomness on the offset. But also, it, there seems to be some modulation here where it is by LFO number three as well. Uh, let's look at layer number four, and this is still a granular engine. Okay, you can see here changes in the offset but also the size so the offset is changing here and also the size is changing there as well so let's again have a look at the next one ice piano interesting really interesting so let's de decompose these and so let's solo this first layer there's the size changing so uh, yeah here it is on based on the envelope this time not on the LFO um, let's go to the um, second layer and solo this one mm, lot of reverb and delay there as well density really high seems to stop as well very quickly okay uh, layer number three, nothing on the metrics. Uh, let's solo uh, this one as well. I can't look at and reverb and delay a maximum on this one. Still in the granular engine, is more of a background sound. And uh, let's go to number four as well, which is still on. And then this is type oscillator. Mm. Very interesting, very interesting. Lot of reverb and delay again, and nothing on the metric. So, and of course, uh, when uh, uh, you combine them all, so the, la the fourth layer really as a solo, yeah. It adds body to the other three layers, really. Very nice. Let's try one last one. Intoxication. So let's focus on the first layer waveform. no random applied here let's solo this first layer mm. 
weird emotional moving sound. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, and doesn't look like yeah any metrics and modulation. Uh, let's go to the second uh, layer. Um, this this type of oscillator. Okay, let's have a look at the metrics. Nothing here. Let's go to the global. Yeah, it felt like something else was on. So um. I think it's a modulation FM mode is actually on with this type of algorithm. So I would expect then other layers to have um, uh, the engine type as the oscillator, as you can see here, the third one as well. And the fourth one actually is of type uh, granular. So let's have a look at the uh, waveform. Let's solo it. Again, random on the offset, also on the density and also on the size. Okay, now I'm going to go through a couple of more very quickly, like candy. What is very interesting, you can hear there is movement on the spread, on the stereo spread, the amplitude spread, and also randomly on the density. And you can really hear it if you have a headphones that there is movement between the left and right channels. Fantastic effect. All right, okay, I hope you enjoyed this, and it's really a fantastic. Um, uh, bank with a lot of lovely great patches which I'm sure you can use in your composition uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video if you like to uh, check if there are still some available codes just send me an email and I will drop a free code of course if you are a subscriber to my channel thank you very much see you soon bye